so I've been standing here for like a good 10 minutes, maybe 15, just standing here, being very unproductive, getting ready to film a video, and it's just, I had this thought running through my head. I was like, what if I vlogged while I'm filming my weekly videos? Would anybody want to see that? Would it ruin things to have like a behind the scenes of what's going on? I don't know. But the conclusion I ended up coming to is let's just turn on the camera and start talking instead of just standing here like a moron getting nothing done. So that's that's what, hi, Jeff here, Tropical Plant Party. How's everybody doing? I hope you're good. I'm great. There's my head spinning. I'm setting up right now to film a video. That's the other thing is like, if it's in the vlog, then the video has to be out by now. We're just chatting. That's gonna be the theme of today's vlog, just talking. And uh, the, the, what's happening here? God, I'm annoyed with myself right now. I am so sorry. I didn't come prepared. I was just like, take out the camera and start talking. So here's what I'm doing. I, uh, the video will have been out by now. Hopefully, that's the entire point here. I'm getting things set up, getting the desk cleared off. I like to, before I film a video, go through and spray the plants down keep the humidity up because I crank my heaters down so it's a good time to get the humidity up could the heaters really dry the air out in here so when they're down that's a good time to turn the humidity you get it but my um my little it's not working see nothing's happening nothing nothing's coming out of there so I need to buy a new water bottle that's fun I've gone ahead and set these orchids in these metallic cups because they did not want to stand up so that'll have to do and then I'm just I'm surrounded. I'm surrounded by plants. I have them everywhere. They're even in my seat. I can't even sit down. That's just because I need to be able to pick them up and put them into frame. I don't ever want to start a video with everything right in the front. That doesn't. Why would anybody watch? You got to have some kind of build up, right? Get the light set up. Something that really drives me crazy about these lights is they have these flaps on them, which are nice. It helps direct the light to where you want it to, but you can't point them down. See? because this flaps in the way, and if you look at the, like, I don't know, what kind of, can you even, hold on. And if you look at the, like, what kind of screw is that even? I have a screw kit that has a whole bunch of different, oh. <laughs> Two years I've had these lights and I've been like, I can't get this thing off because I don't know it. It's just a, oh goodness. It's kind of irrelevant though. I don't want these actually pointing down because that would cast a lot of shadows. So I usually either have my lights pointing up to bounce off the ceiling or coming in from full points to get rid of shadows. And the camera focuses so much more quickly when you have a lot of lights on whatever you're filming. So that's a fun story there. I actually don't mind having some shadows when I'm filming. The format that I use with my camera, it doesn't look too bad. That's because the format I use here on this camera, which is looking very dirty, it didn't doesn't look like that to the naked eye. Um, I just think that the shadows actually help outline things a little bit better. It adds a little bit of depth to what I'm doing and whatnot, so I don't mind it that much. Oh, yeah, <laughs> I need my card. Oh, and a battery. Okay, I wasn't prepared at all. That's all right. I think that as far as for vlogging's sake, that works out okay. You can always pop inside and see Pumpkin for a minute. I mean, if she's around, that is. Pumpkin, where you at, girl? Oh, there she is. Hey, sweetie. You have a good nap? You want to say hi? Camera doesn't want to focus today. That's great. Behave. There we go. Yeah, you're such a good girl. Always around. Dogs, they go do their thing. Pumpkin always makes sure she's where I can find her. Unless there's like a tornado or a situation where I really need to find her. And then she runs and hides because she thinks it's a game. That's not a game. That's dangerous, and we don't enjoy that, Pumpkin. Anyways, why did I come in here? That's all. Don't worry about that. Ah, uh, yes. Battery. That thing better be charged. One of these batteries sometimes will sit in here, and it'll say it's charging, it'll say it's charged, and then I put it in the camera, and it's not. I got an adapter not that long ago that fits in here. It's basically a battery attached to a power cord, so uh, I can always use that as backup if need be, which is really nice and nifty that I can just plug the camera in. That's a nice thing to be able to do because for things like um, time lapses 
sometimes those will take longer than what's in a battery. And they're like battery pack extension things you can get for this camera, but they are great. Everything that goes with these Sony cameras is just outrageous. There are some lenses that are really high up there on my wish list, but they're like two, three thousand dollars. Some of them even more than that. So, like, that's obviously not going to work, right? And then I always have to go through, make sure the lens is clean. I should have done that before turning things on. Little bit of dust, but that's just kind of the nature of the beast out here. There's not much I can do about that. And I go through and I adjust the swivels and whatnot so that when the camera moves, get a nice smooth motion there. Yeah, that's good. Okay, I'm going to film the video now. I think what's happening here is you're getting a behind the scenes look at just hardcore procrastination. That's what's cool. I'm procrastinating. Sometimes I just get a little bit anxious, like I don't know how to start a video, a vlog. I just pick up the camera and start talking. It's fun for me. The weekly videos, sometimes I just really get in my head and I overthink things. And it, like I said, it's just a matter of just like, turn the camera on and start talking. So that's what I will do here in just a moment. This whole entire thing here that, like I said, this video will have been out by now. It's a ton of plants in this haul, but I am so excited to have all of these terrarium plants. The You'll get a better look at them if you watch that video. Every winter, it's just so hard to find plants around here, which is what kind of makes the video I'm about to film a little bit difficult. But the nursery that I go, I've mentioned it in last week's vlog, they closed down for winter this year, December 15th. And so, you know, because of that, they obviously stopped ordering plants probably, I don't know, a week or two maybe before they closed down. I don't know when they stopped, but because you got to clear things out. So the prices were great and uh, the selection was still pretty decent and I got a lot of great stuff. Normally, I can't find much of anything plant-wise, period. I would say uh, mid-December through... Uh, ugh probably early March. It's really hard to find a good selection of plants, but these are here. And what's even better is that they're labeled. Oftentimes the terrarium plants don't have a label. And then when it comes to this whole YouTube thing, I tend to not like to use things that aren't labeled, especially when they're very young, small, ambiguous plants. Like I don't, I just, that's come. It's not, you don't, I like to be able to say what the plants are and talk about them. And when plants are really small and immature, especially ferns, my goodness, with ferns, I don't want to be like, hey, here's, I'm just throwing a bunch of plants in here. I can't tell you what they are. I don't know. I just don't, I don't like that. So just about everything in here has a label. Some of the labels are a little bit uh, vague, but like with this one, I, I think it just had like aluminum plant, but that's not a big deal. I know what that is. And there was one in here. Where did it go? There they are, these guys. I think I grabbed two of these. No label, so I can just assume it's some sort of sedum or spurge or something of that nature, but I don't know for sure. So, like, that's no fun if I'm gonna do a terrarium video and be like, hey, here's the, the it's just a plant, can't tell you what it is. Somebody really likes that plant, and then I can't do anything. I can't be like, hey, go buy this when I don't even know what it is. Anyways, I'm well stocked up on a selection of terrarium plants for the winter time. I'm so happy about that because I've wanted to do all of these terrariums. I haven't been able to because like I've been getting it, I haven't had the plants. So there's a nice selection of things in here. I'll probably want to get those terrariums done fairly quickly because these plants will all be much easier to keep alive in a terrarium versus just having them in these tiny little pots. I'd even like throw them into an old fish tank or something with a tight fitting lid on them just because I don't really have time to do the terrarium set. I was thinking that would be kind of like a fun January thing. So that would help keep the moisture in a little bit longer for them. And the humidity is doing better out here though. So it might not be as big of an issue. We will see. I don't have to worry about it, at least with the jade. That's nice. The jade's tough. That'll be okay. And there's a bird's nest fern in here. That'll be fine. They can kind of go either way. And okay. All right. Time to shut up. I'm going to film a video. Heavy. Hi. Don't go up there. No, no. Don't go on the shoulder right now. Just say hi. There you go. You're so pretty. Look at you in those fancy lights. Cosmo, how you doing? You doing all right? You pretty? Pretty bird. Sometimes I bring the parrots out here and I let them sit up here on the backdrop pole. And they can hang out with me for a little bit while I film some videos and then they start squawking usually within like 20 minutes and gotta take them in which is fine because I don't have food or water out here for them anyways I really shouldn't be out here for too long anyways Cosmo you look funny under a wide angle yes you do you're still pretty though 
Okay, and now I've moved on to my next video. I was going to do an orchid planter with all these orchids that I picked up in last week's vlog from Home Depot for Super. I'm also watching... Pam, girl, you can be quiet. I'm trying to film a video here. Okay, yes. I'm also simultaneously watching a live stream. So, uh, the problem I've encountered with this setup is my floral foam isn't absorbing any water. What is that? Why isn't it? I guess I bought the wrong kind of floral foam. Isn't it supposed to? It's supposed to absorb water. But it did. It doesn't. Nope. You see that? Look. Nothing. It's just floating. So. Oops. I don't know what I'm going to do about that. I guess I could just Google it. But anytime I bought floral foam before, usually I stick it in water. It soaks up water and everything's fine. But these are just nothing. What the heck's that about? And I have had floral foam before that was just really resistant to sinking. You're really not supposed to push it down because it can create air pockets in there, which if you put a stem in floral foam and there's an air pocket, then it'll dry out. I'm not putting stems in this though. This is just going to be used to fill in gaps. So I guess I'm going to have to find something heavy to put on these to help push them down. I know it doesn't seem like something that should be all that complicated, but leave it to me to find floral foam that doesn't absorb water. Sometimes things just don't work out the way they're supposed to. It's the next day. This was full of water all night long and nope, still floats. So apparently there's multiple types of floral foam. Good to know. Never had this happen before. So that, I swear, it only happens when I'm filming. Stop it. Anyways, I'm gonna run by Michael's and see if there's another type of floral foam. I'm gonna try that out. Good morning, Tobes. Good morning. Yeah, I need to step on it. We need to hurry. It's supposed to start snowing any minute now. Oh, I should move these queen palms inside too. Hmm. Um, uh, party at Aldi's? What's going on? Michael's, or just the ceiling of my car. There it is. So I had just bought the wrong one. <laughs> I bought dry foam instead of wet foam. So there goes the entire day of work. I could have sworn the one I got was wet foam though, but it wasn't. There's, I, it wasn't purple or pink or whatever that is. Ooh, uh, that's a big vase. I feel like I need that. So things have changed from uh, behind the scenes filming videos to just scrambling to get holiday decorating done. I'm standing on my counter like a crazy person and I'm going to pull this down and put up, you cut back and see, you see it when I'm done. Okay, I mean, hey, you know what? That'll have to do. I need to straighten the garland out, but sometimes it needs like a day to sort of, hold on. Sometimes it helps to give it a day or so to just sort of hang and stretch itself out and get a little bit more flexibility. Then I can go up and straighten it out and whatnot. And then I have some little gingerbread houses that I'm going to put in here. But hey, it's a good start. It's close enough. Because like I said, family's going to be here any minute now. I am going to go outside. I have these, this big trough and that big empty pot. And I still have my needle palms that are potted up sitting there. So I'm actually just going to plop those under there. But otherwise... Since it's snowing and the fam's rolling in, I'm not saying goodbye yet, but the rest of the vlog's probably gonna be extremely choppy and erratic. So, you know, nothing new there. And here we, why did I hit record right when the clock started going off? Pumpkin, what's wrong with me? Why'd I do that? Say hi, but. Yeah, you're not happy having people in town. You're not into that. She has not been enjoying having company. Uh. Yeah, the window, I did this pretty thing with the amaryllis here. It is, the water's too high. I need to take some water out. That'll rot. But um, I decided to kind of like can the whole entire behind the scenes thing. I did it for one video and I decided I didn't want to bulk film anymore because it's it's a risky thing to do. Anyways, about the bulk filming. Oh, and yes, it, <laughs> it's the next morning. There are a lot of people around here. It is, I, I got 30 seconds of vlogging in last night. There's just people everywhere. It's really hard to, you know, talk to talk to y'all. I'm sorry. What I was saying, though, with the bulk filming, it just, it makes me nervous. There have been so many occasions where I'll film several videos in a row, and then turns out, like, my mic was loose, or 
didn't have the was dead or corrupt SD. Like just too many, too many occasions where that didn't go well. And then I had several videos that were just ruined. And then sometimes there are videos that like you can't redo. Pumpkin, where'd you go? Here she is. Hi, baby butt. Where are you going? You busy? You got things to do? She's loosening up. Where are you going? Can I get my butt on camera? And I don't really like for the videos to be like too far out from when I actually filmed them. Unless I'm traveling. Sometimes when you're traveling, I have to do that. Otherwise, I like for things to be a little bit more real time. Look, I found my childhood lava lamp. Isn't that cute? It's a little, it's got the cocoa. He used to be holding a bottle of Coke. And there were Coke bottles down here, but no, I don't know where those are. I'm just excited to have found the lava lamp, and I found a 40-watt bulb. I had one, just one random 40-watt bulb, and it's, I think it's going to work. I don't know for sure. So, that's the, yeah, that's all that. I think today we're going to the butterfly house, and that'll be fun. So, we'll go, you guys want to go see some butterflies? We usually go there a few times during the winter. Lots of tropical plants. I don't really need to introduce it. We're going to be there in a second. Did you see my really creepy shrimp ornament? It's kind of weird. Yeah, that was fun. I love the butterfly house. It's such a nice thing to have that kind of tropical escape to get to, especially when it's winter time. I know it's not technically wait. Wait, it is. Happy winter. Today's the first day of winter. I don't know if that's something to celebrate. If you like winters, and that's great. I like it because it means that the day lengths will start getting longer. Because this whole entire being dark out at five o'clock. That's ridiculous and I'm over it but it means that much closer to spring so pretty much at this point it's like all right just got to get through January and February and like a few weeks of March and things will start to get nicer out I'm not usually in full-fledged plant mode until I actually can move my tropicals out so that's more like May but that's okay getting there have a few months to do lots of fun things with house plants which I'm excited about especially the terrariums if you saw that last video I did where I brought home a lot of plants to use for terrariums i'm so excited to get going with those in january there will be a bunch of terrarium videos i can't say for sure like how many 
I know which ones I want to do, but then, you know, it always depends when you get going with them, how many you end up using in each thing and whatnot. But I'm very much looking forward to that. Focus on the fish, not the orchids. There we go. Hey, fish. Good morning, fish. They're doing well. Fish are doing well. I, uh, as I started a project and it's just now how it is when family's in town. It's some things just don't always go as planned. I'm having a great time. Life is good. It's important to cherish those moments that you have with your loved ones. But it did, I didn't have a lot of time for making other videos. So look at how well this water lily's doing. When I put this in here, I was concerned about the waterfall being too high, but it's doing fine. It did what water lilies tend to do. It ended up losing most of its foliage, and I was like, all right, I'm just going to hang on here. going to give you a few weeks, and that worked out okay. Look at it. Bounced right back. Sorry for the shaky camera work. I'm leaning over the water there. Yes, happy winter solstice to those of you who are into that. Like I said, I'm fine with it. It means we're moving forward. This string of bananas, look at it. It is getting so, so, so long. It's coming all the way to... Okay, another thing that really does annoy me about winter, though, is that with the the Christmas lights aren't even on. They're just plugged in. But they're not on right now. But it's more than my breakers can handle. So see, did you see what just happened? It just got dark in here. The breaker just blew for no reason. I didn't do anything. I've been out here for like 15 minutes, and it's early. And the Christmas lights aren't on. But uh, maybe just having them plugged in is enough because you know even when things are plugged in unless you have like one of those special switch things that power still moves through them i don't know um anyways i hope everybody's doing well i know shorter video but it's it's okay right we, we all busy we all got stuff we, that's going on you get it it's fine and it's a little bit dark out here that's all right too you get a glimpse of kind of what things look like at nighttime but i turn the filming these guys they go off i turn these off at nighttime. I've thought about putting them onto a timer because these lights right here are for filming, but the plants really do seem to like them. So I've been using them more than I probably should. That's not hurting anything. Like I said, hope everybody's doing well, having a great day, great weekend, that life's going wonderfully for you. The holidays are amongst us, whatever that holiday might be for you, or maybe no holiday, I don't know, but you're still surely experiencing the cultural chaos that surrounds whatever's going on uh, with wherever you are right now. It's that time of year, and I hope it's going well for everyone. And there's some new growth coming up here. It's kind of hard to see, but it's back there through my weird distorted wet angle fingers on the heliconia. I'm really happy about that. The heliconias have always been a little bit trickier. I'm going to adjust this light a little bit. You know, they're a little bit trickier inside. They need heat and humidity and whatnot, but it's got some cold damage left on its older foliage but putting out some new stuff here and I'm just I'm excited to see that it has new growth coming up in the back and that it's going uh, going it's growing actively that means that it's very happy I was hopeful that having it set up on this table over here would give it some heat because the air can blow underneath it and help keep it warmer do you get upset I know that that just came out of nowhere the other thing I wanted to make sure to show look at the flowers back here on the Cordelin fruticasa isn't that beautiful? This flowered over the summertime and I wasn't able to show it, or I don't, maybe I did show it. I don't remember, but I know I talked about the flowers plenty in my garden tours and never really got to show them off. They're prettiest right before they open. That's just my opinion. Once they open, they kind of have like a white center to them and then the little seeds start to pop out of them. It's just so pretty. I love it. it. Makes me very happy. Birds pooped on the staghorn fern, so some extra nutrients for that guy. That's okay. Not gonna hurt it. It's okay. Everything's fine. I'm going to try and aim to have a video out on Monday, and then that's probably gonna be it next week, because, you know, the be doing Christmas with the family and everything Tuesday and Wednesday, and then that's, maybe we'll do... I don't know. We'll see what goes on. I'm just, you know, life is short, so I'm just kind of on the just doing whatever comes my way and making the most of it kind of train. That's a long, that train has a long name. You get what I'm saying? I hope everybody's doing the same. Just having a great time. All my social media is down below if you want to follow me and don't forget to leave the video a thumbs up. It makes a big difference for YouTubers and their channels. It's very much appreciated. And um, like I said many times, hope everybody's doing well. Life is fantastic. Things are beautiful and make the most of it. Okay. And of course, as always, and most importantly, everybody, keep on growing. Behave. Hey,